Now let's have a look at the social shopping extension. Social shopping is an extension that is part of the Shopware Rise plan. And the extension provides additional sales channels that allow easy integration into the well-known social media services. Um, in most cases, this is done through an export feed, which is integrated into the respective platform. So if we go to the plus button in the sales channel uh, chapter, we just press on plus, and we now see our four new sales channels which can be added. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Google Shopping, and Pinterest. Let us take Facebook as an example. You do this by clicking on Add Sales Channel. Now the system wants us to use a dynamic product group for this channel. Dynamic product groups are groups of, of products formed by dynamic rules. And they can be displayed in different locations in your shop through this. So let's create a dynamic product group. You can directly see that the settings are similar to the rule builder settings. And this is because the dynamic product groups are based on rules. So start by giving the group a name. You can give the group a description, but you don't have to. And then we come to the conditions. Here you start by choosing a property. I will just take product. Then you have to choose an operator. I'll just take is equal to. And then you select the respective product. I'll just take test one. And then click on save. Um, within the rule, you can link several conditions with each other, uh, which allows you to map even very complex scenarios. Uh, use the and, the or, or the subcondition button for this. Down here, you now see the preview with the uh, with the preview, um, yeah, you can display an overview of all the products belonging to this dynamic product group. So now let's add our Facebook sales channel. Again, click on the plus button and then add Facebook. Um, you now see, once we added our dynamic product group, we automatically get to the general settings of the Facebook sales channel. Here we start by giving the channel a name. Then we activate it, choose our storefront, our storefront domain, our storefront currency, and of course our dynamic product group for this sales channel. Then down here we get to the additional settings. We've got the point import variants as own products. This one up here. With this setting you can determine whether each variant of variant products is transferred to Facebook as an independent product. Alternatively, a collective product is used in which the general product information is listed. So, however, information on the individual variants are not included. Then we've got our, yeah, generation of the interval. So use this setting to define how often the feed should be regenerated for export. If you select live up here, the feed is generated each time it is called up. So for production, uh, production systems, we can recommend that you do this using the schedule. Then we've got generate via scheduler. 
Um, this option allows you to uh, generate the feed by cron job at a certain time. So please note that the feed is only generated when the generation interval has expired. And last but not least, we've got the default Google product category ID. Um, the Google product category ID determines the category in which the products will be included on Facebook. But please note that only uh, purely numeric values can be used here. Uh, you can find more information on this on the Google Help page. We have linked this down here. So for our example video, I will just choose an example ID. Um, let's say one. Uh, just to show you which options appear after clicking on save. Scroll down and you will see the information about the last generated uh, feed. So um, here you can see when the export feed was last generated uh, and this allows you to see if the generation by the scheduler is ex uh, executed correctly. And right down here, we've got the option to delete our sales channel. In the tab statistics, um, you can view various key figures of your orders over Facebook. So these are divided into orders, customers, and your turnover. In the tab unpublished products, we've got two yeah, items or two uh, possibilities of an overview. So we've got the point validate products. Um, here you can validate your products at this point. Um, and the result of the validation would be displayed down here. So after the validation has been carried out, you can see here whether the products are transferred uh, or the transferation is complete. Um, if the validation should determine that products are not valid, the corresponding products are listed here as well. Um, and in this case, you should then check whether any data is missing or whether the existing data is invalid. For example, due to the uh, characters that cannot be displayed correctly. And then we've got the tab integration. Uh, Shopware itself provides you with the data required for integration into Facebook in an export feed. The integration itself with Facebook is done directly in your Facebook settings. Um, yeah, so the generated feed can be accessed under the export URL and can be queried from Facebook. So if you need any information or more information in, uh, yeah, for the, the Facebook integration or for the export feed, um, you can directly go to the Facebook documentations. We have linked them down here. And last but not least, we've got the template tab. Um, the template determines the structure of the product export file. The templates are divided into the header line, a product line, and the footer line, or footer row, product row, and header row. Um, if you use a template in the general tab, uh, usually no adjustments are necessary here. Um, the correct document templates for the respective uh, comparison portals are already included in the templates. Um, down here we've got three buttons. The template or test template button um, checks whether there are any syntax errors in the template. With the generate preview um, button you can directly view the content of the created export file and reset template, yeah, obviously resets your template. At this point, a little pro tip. Um, 
on the variables, you can see which data you can use for the templates. So just click on the arrows up here, and then you can see a drop down with all available variables. Uh, so there you can copy the variable you want, uh, yeah, using for the clipboard by clicking on the copy symbol. This is this one then. And another tip, um, this is dedicated to the referral code. So in order for the statistics to be calculated, the Facebook sales channel template must contain the following variable. Um, it is the social shopping sales channel um, sales channel ID. This is found or this can be found under social shopping sales channel sales channel ID. So this variable is automatically added to the standard template for new social shopping installations or updates. So if you uh, yeah, use an own template for your Facebook uh, sales channel, keep in mind that you have the sales channel ID variable in it to use the statistics. So we've managed to add a new sales channel. Um, the new sales channel will be listed under sales channels and the, yeah, adding other sales channels like, for example, Instagram, Google Shopping or Pinterest. Um, this is similar, but if you need any help, uh, yeah, adding these sales channels, you can obviously go to our online documentations for this. Um, you find the documentations under docs.shopware.com.